Hey guys, Sphinx Media Girl here. In this video, I am doing a rainbow alcohol ink and resin bowl, and I'm going to show you this technique step by step, start to finish, and I know that you will love the results. So to start with, I am using Ranger alcohol inks. I have found these to work best for this project, but there are other inks that you can probably use. I'm using a variety of colors because I wanted this to be really bright and colorful and rainbow. And you can probably tell here, but I'm putting them directly on the mold. I have not put any resin or anything else in here, just straight alcohol inks on the silicone mold. And I did get this from Amazon. The link will be in the description. I'm using a purple, a blue, a green, a yellow, an orange, and a red. Once again, all Ranger alcohol inks. I am using one pinata ink, which is the white, and I am using that just a little bit in the middle and then on the outside. And you can do any design you want, but I tend to do a more linear design going from the middle to the outside. Once that's done, I poured my resin straight into the middle of my design. And I did mix this up before I did my design so that I could pour it immediately after finishing my design. The alcohol inks dry really quickly, so you do not want to do your design, then mix up your resin. Have your resin ready to go. I pour in the middle so that it evenly pushes those inks out. You need to be careful with this though. Pour very slowly and let it just flow. You do not want to overfill your mold. Now because I'm making a bowl out of this mold, I don't even need to fill it up all the way. I'm only filling it up maybe about halfway or so. I actually cannot tell you how much resin this mold takes, but I can tell you that I only put about 10 ounces in here, and I believe it takes more like 16 ounces or so. So that kind of gives you an idea of how much I filled it up. I could have actually even gotten away with a little bit less resin than that, but that's about how much I put in here. Now, once I had it filled up, I used my heat gun to get rid of the air bubbles, and this also helped it flow, and um, it will affect the design a little bit, so don't overdo it, just very, very gently do it. And then I also sprayed it with isopropyl alcohol, 91%, just to assist in removing the air bubbles, but also to affect my design a little bit. Then at this point, I let this sit for about six hours. This may vary depending on your resin and the temperature of your workspace. Some resins cure much faster. This is Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. It cures in about 24 hours. And also, if your workspace is very hot, it's going to cure faster. If it's colder, it may take a little bit longer. So I tend to check it after about four hours. But this was about six hours or so. And you can see it's very, very bendy. Um, so I kind of just carefully peel it out of there. It should not be sticky, um, but it's kind of right past that sticky mark. You don't want to wait too long or it's going to be hard to mold this into your bowl. Look how gorgeous that design is though. It's so pretty. And I love this mold because it has a little bit of a design on it already. Now this is a thick plastic bowl that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond last year. Um, it might even be uh, one of those unbreakable bowls. I'm not sure. I just know it's thick and it's pretty much the perfect size for my bowls. So I press that into the middle of the bowl. You can also drape it over the outside. I prefer this look much, much better though. Um, I, it's just what I like. And you don't have to use a bowl. You could even use a vase. You can use other things and drape it over there. Now, unfortunately, I put this one in a little bit uncentered. Um, one side came out higher than the other, so I peeled it back out carefully and then I kind of re-centered this. So you may need to adjust it a little bit as you go. I did not put any kind of mold release in here. It should not stick to your plastic. If it is sticking, you have mixed up your resin wrong or are doing something else wrong. So I got it better centered in here and then um, took my time adjusting the sides to how I wanted them. And then I put a silicone mat in the center of it so I could weigh it down with a bottle. 
I didn't want to put a bottle or anything else heavy directly on the resin because it can, you know, have indentations and things like that. So the silicone mat acts as a buffer. Let that cure overnight or for a couple of days and then take out whatever you have weighing it down with and your silicone mat and it should peel out pretty easily. I go around the sides and I just uh, pull up on each side gently and until I've gone all the way around and then it should just pop right out. And there you go. Gorgeous, gorgeous rainbow alcohol ink and resin bowl. So there's of course endless shapes that you can do with this, endless color combinations. If anyone's interested, I actually just put together a kit for this project. I will link that down in the description as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.